so cute. I really hope this saves. Perfect, what a welcome. <laughs> All right, so we kind of forgot to uh, film this, but every Sunday at Chatchill, they do a pig roast here. Sorry if the wind is really bad, but we demolished it. We demolished it. We give you pig, beans and um, peas and rice. Mac and cheese. So when we were long. here in May, it was pretty packed like this, but it was like 99% cruisers. Today it's packed, and we are literally the only cruisers here. We asked someone else about cruisers, and they thought we were talking about cruise ships. <laughs> so, at least the mosquitoes aren't bad. Yeah. So. Interesting though, I thought this was like a cruiser place, but I guess it's just like a vacation spot. Check it out. Oh, ah! Okay guys, we are in Georgetown. We just pulled up to the dinghy dock for the first time since we've been here. Uh, this is kind of what it looks like. There's a little dinghy right there. We're gonna go drop trash off. They have a little truck you can just drop it in and then put a little bit of cash in there. Uh, and then we're gonna go to the sewer. Look at all this fresh fruit. And it's so much cheaper than last time too. Look at all this, what the heck? Zuma Market's up in their game. So nice and clean. Beautiful in here. All right, so still doing some crappy projects. Can't get the toilet to quite work just yet, but working on it, whatever. Um, but just want to take a second. So we went ran into town earlier, and as we were dinging back, um, these people were like, like, "Oh, you made it back!" and were calling us by first name, and you know, people that we hadn't actually met before. And they told us they watched our channel, which was like super cool. We we're like, "Oh, that's awesome!" And then we get over here, and this morning, I, the outboard didn't want to start again. I keep having these starter fluid, and I guess some guy over there who we hadn't met before either. Um, saw me doing it and he came over and offered to help me out and he literally was just like calling us by our first names and yeah I don't know it was kind of crazy <laughs> kind of cool though we literally just got back here two days ago and I guess maybe our channel spread around a little bit for this area but kind of fun to be recognized yeah it's cool <laughs> all right babe what's going on for how many days a week I don't know. Yeah, overly. Been broken. I've cleaned every discharge line. Also, pretty much every intake line. The vent, everything. New um, choker valve. Nothing has worked. And so I just tried replacing the actual pump itself. It's not working great, but it is flushing now. Let's show them. So when we put it on fill. It brings salt water in, and then when we put it on empty, it's supposed to flush it all out. It's not. Is it working? It's not working, is it? Alright. Alright, so earlier we thought we fixed it. It turned out to be a false alarm. So, Nellie was thinking it was somewhere in here. She was right, I think. I took this part, now I've completely taken apart like the whole to toilet from here, everywhere through. And I think this is called the flapper valve. Well, it's supposed to be attached to this and it was ripped off. And so I pulled the one from the front head. I'm gonna put it on. I think that may have been our problem. I think that's oh, it, baby. I think that's it. Flapper valve has been replaced. I'm gonna fill it a little bit. Now, I can build one myself. 
Look at that power it's got now. I know. Wow. All right, here's the real moment of truth. Because yeah. earlier it worked once. Now let's see if it works twice. <laughs> the real moment of truth is going to be pooping in it. Look at that. Hey! Woo! High five. Oh, no, no. To see you again. Wow, nice. Really? I just pretended. Can you hold this? I'm so sore. I just pretended to go through a whole thing talking to you guys, and she stole my lines. All right. So, anyways, uh, it's like our fifth day or something in Georgetown. But what are you doing? Sorry, I'm trying to look at the like lens. This. And okay. Not look at the. Myself. So last time we were in Georgetown, we met these people from the boat named Maluka or Malakai. Sorry. Sorry, we're bad with pronunciation. We'll figure it out. But anyways, awesome people. they're back here. And so we're going to go to the Snappy Turtle with them tonight. Sorry, we haven't been vlogging very much. We really haven't been doing that many interesting things since we've been in Georgetown, which sucks. But once we get back from the United States, we're going to be doing lots of interesting, interesting things. things. Right, babe? Somebody forgot to put away our favorite chair. It's flying away. It's way out there, Nelly. Yes. Move your head. Can barely see it. It's floating away, so we're gonna go rescue it. It's absolutely pouring out here. We leave back to the States in a couple of days, but we met up with some friends that we met in Georgetown last time we were here. Um, they're on the boat Maluka, but hey, hi, introduce yourself. I'm Jesse. Jesse and Steve, Jesse's friend. Steve, Jesse's friend. But we're having a good night tonight. We're making some nachos. Hold on. Just look at that. Wow. Alright, final product. That looks incredible. Are you excited? Yes, you did amazing. You Thank killed you. it. Thank killed you. it. Be single ladies. <laughs> 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 Yum! Alright you guys, um, we are about to take the boat into one of the blue holes in Georgetown, or Hurricane Stocking Hills, Island. Yeah. Um, we're going to keep it on a mooring there while we go back to the States. But and it is sketchy getting in. It's super sketchy. So we're going to have one of the guys, Steve from Maluka, um, film for us going in on a GoPro, but wish us luck. Alright y'all, we just made it through the little channel here. We're in the hurricane hole number two, I think this one is, um, here at Georgetown. I think it's going to be a pretty safe spot to leave the boat. It's protected all around. We've already met a few of the people in here. They're super nice. Um, just want to take a second to thank you, 
Jesse and Steve for helping us get through there. They're, they have a really nice, uh, Jesse's got a really nice dinghy that has the center console and has depth. So he was able to help us like basically plot a perfect course through there and make sure we maintain, maintain depth the whole time. Got down to 5'8 at one point and our draft is 5'2, probably a little more than that fully loaded. So it's definitely a little skinny, but we got it no problem. Got all hooked up to the mooring ball. And now, Nelly is doing some dishes. This is how we do our dishes in the Bahamas. And yeah. beautiful water, and then we just rinse with fresh water. And she loves doing dishes. This is her favorite part of sailing right here. Her favorite part. I love it. I actually don't mind it. What she do more then? No, I, <laughs> I, I don't mind it if I like just do one big load every year. All right, guys, so we just pulled into the hurricane hole number two, and we met Dennis and his girlfriend, wife? Yes, my love. You're She's his hiding love. Right there. She's <laughs> hiding. But she made us this wonderful meal. Incredible uh, meal. This is probably the best meal we've had in a while, but yeah, we're so time. excited. Thank you, for Thank you so it. much, hey, no Dennis. Problem. It's a pleasure. It's going to be delicious. Pleasure. All right, all right. So we just checked into the airport. Banner flies out way earlier than me but there is a lounge across the street from the airport and we got this awesome meal. It's like 12 bucks a piece, it was so fast. And yeah. <laughs> got to the hotel. I'm literally in a suite, so that's awesome. I'm so freaking tired, so I'm going to bed, but see you tomorrow. Back in Florida, and it is a big moment. I got a pipeline punch. Hey, yo. All right, let me just show y'all real quick. I know it's gonna be a good day. But let's go fishing with my buddy, Nick. Let's see if we can catch anything. We don't have a ton of gear here, so we're just gonna use hand lines like on the boat and troll around, see if we can catch something. Yo, second mahi! Second mahi is a dang it. Let's go! Hey. Two mahi is the day. All right, I'm sorry y'all, the audio is gonna be terrible. This is just on my phone, but we've had the best yeah. freaking morning. Such a good morning. Two mahi, two bonita. We've only been out here for like maybe two hours now. We're just freaking vibing, baby. Oh, yeah. I think we've told you guys already, but this is Nick. This is like my best friend growing up. I haven't been on the, on the vlog in a while. What is it? Been, it's always been a, no, it's like, it's always been a year. Beginning, yeah. It's always been a year. He was out there like when we were in Tampa still. Yeah. But man, what a day. Yeah, Hell yeah. Hello, everyone. I'm sorry I haven't videoed in a while. I got to LA two or two days ago. Went and stayed in Orange County for a couple nights. Uh, and now I'm in Santa Monica at the Boutine Studio with my girls. Hello. Um, but I'm gonna be here for like another day or two. I don't really know. And then I'm going to Texas to meet up with Banner again and we're gonna eat lots of good food and spend Thanksgiving there with the fam. It has been like, I don't even know, a long time since we've vlogged. Our apologies. Oh. I have been in LA. Um, I've been I was, in Florida. Ben was in Florida while I was in LA. Why is this on you? And, um, oh, I was shooting for Boutine and Banner was just having the time of his life. Catching some fish. Yeah. Boating. Now we're in Texas with Marcel and Stetson. I don't even know if this is on you guys. Woo, Woo but. Yes. For those of you who are new or don't know, this is my older brother, Stetson. Oh, sorry. Give me Very a handsome young man, and he's single, <laughs> ladies. This is my amazing mother. Don't Marcel. say your older mother, though. No, this is my younger mother, if okay. that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> but we are on the way to... Banner is playing a pickleball tournament on Sunday. 
Yep. My so. mother um, loves pickleball, and so I am joining her, and we're probably going to get our butts kicked. But I kind of like you calling me mom, not mother. My mom. Marcel. It's Marcel. <laughs> okay. Sorry, I keep looking at my face over here because it's foggy. But uh, it's probably, ah, oh, so much better. Okay, but anyways, um, yeah. Goodbye. We'll be back on the boat soon. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. About to see the world in action. Alright, so we are here in McKinney, Texas, with my mother playing a pickleball tournament, me and her. And she told me that we were coming in playing beginners. There's like a ranking system and we're playing the bottom. Well, it turns out we're playing like the best people here, so. And how do you feel about that? It's gonna be funny. <laughs> a true David and Goliath story. You need to story. be like yeah. a shark attacking on land and they won't know how to handle you. Oh boy, here we go. <laughs> so, you know, we've all been inspired by your story coming in as new players. How, just truly David and Goliath, how do you plan to unseat the reigning champions? We have a pretty unorthodox approach um, with her having several months of experience and me having um, several days. We're going to be a little bit of a um, wild card to these people who are used to more orthodox styles. I mean, they've been playing years, but how can they compare to days and months? So pickleball <laughs> happens to be a quite proper sport, as we all know, but we've heard some complaints saying some profanities come from y'all's corner. Is this true? Um, can you confirm or deny for us? I'm not going to speak on that matter. It's close to Christmas. Oh, fudge is allowed. We can be live with no distractions. We'll get away. This is what we waited for. Take my hand, we'll make it somehow. We can't miss out. I'm done living life with the lights out. Die with my. That's it. What are you thinking? They can win this. Yeah, I think so too. This is a winnable game. I think so too. Marcy, you got this shit. You're a lot more talented than you think you are. Okay? Yeah. You got this. Just my head's not. <laughs> right. My body might be. everyone we've been on a brief intermission but we're in the middle of the largest longest trouble battle of all time this game's been going on for like how long over 30 minutes Go everyone has at least like practically won the game once and then been slaughtered one turn before a win it's been like 45 minutes actually <laughs> this is the most intense game of all time Okay, we're about to do our Botox um, I'm with Marcy. She's teaching me. Uh, but we just watched some videos. She's done it before, so she's going to kind of walk me through it. But we just really walk. If you have a droopy eye, don't blame me. <laughs> <laughs> My third one. Here we go. Let's be able to see the numbers here. Okay. Oh, I guess I only have one, so it's fine. Good? Half moon. Oh. You can see. Oh, I did it. It hurts, but I did it. That was my third one. All right, guys. So I just shot myself up. <laughs> um, but we're going to wait like four or five days, and then we'll see if I still have a wrinkly forehead. Okay, Zola fam, um, we actually ordered 23andMe, the 23andMe kit. We ordered these 23andMe kits. They're supposed to tell you about like your family history, health trait or traits, health, like predispositions and stuff. Um, but I just spit in this tube. Uh, Banner's about to spit in it as well. And then we're gonna go drop it off. 
and then we're going to get our results like i don't know within two weeks i think you have to like send it back but yeah we have a fun story for you about banner that's why we're doing it's our final day before we head back to the bahamas and we are having lunch with our friend seth so kind of a backstory of we'll let Seth introduce himself in just a second. Oh, but okay. I was going to flight school in Durant, Oklahoma at South Southeastern University. Is that where we first met? Where did we first meet? Or is that old Iron Post? Old Iron Post. Old Iron Post, yeah. So Seth was working at this flight school that I wanted to work for at US Aviation. So that was my plan was to become a flight instructor, go meet up with Seth hopefully get a job and work there and we kind of just became friends as I was a bartender in downtown Sherman and all these years later here we are here we are yeah. back in Sherman that didn't quite work out yeah but. I was gonna get a bonus off you coming to work for me <laughs> all this stuff was gonna be great and then you disappeared and started dating the model and, you know, here we are yeah. yeah and I'm just jealous of y'all getting to go do the sailboat thing yeah totally like I was like, yeah, Banner is in town, and people are like, who's Banner? I'm like, sailboat dude. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh. Yeah. 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 So what are you doing now, Seth? I just started at American Airlines as a ground school instructor, yeah. teaching on the 737. Well, I won't be teaching for a couple months, but just Sweet. started that now. So moving from small airplanes to big airplanes. Nice. Adjustment. Seth's so. gonna come visit us on the boat soon. Yep. As soon as the bathroom's fixed. Yeah. <laughs> we already got it fixed. Well, we yep. actually ordered new parts yeah, yeah. and we're bringing yeah. them back. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna have great working toilets yeah. next week. Yeah. For all of our guests. Yeah. We'll be good. <laughs> all right. Bye, Seth. <laughs> Tell me when you're ready. Let's go. Go time? Okay. Hello, everyone. We've been in Texas the past two weeks. Uh, we haven't really vlogged anything because we didn't do anything. Um, I did come down with very bad allergies. I got tested and I do not have COVID. Um, so we are at the airport right now heading to Fort Lauderdale and then Nikki is going to take us all the way to Miami. So, and then Miami to Georgetown and then we're back to Bahamas. That's all I have to say. Bye. Lily out. Okay, we've just made it home after a long day of traveling. Zola is safe. Baby Zola is safe. We are going to go to bed. Sleep for 15 hours. And then we're going to update you on everything tomorrow. Mwah. Good morning, everyone. It's our first day back. Um, so what I'm doing right now, just a little fast forward. We're going to still go over what happened yesterday. Um, but I am making mosquito netting for our hatches because the mosquitoes are so bad here. Uh, but what we did was bought, we bought like a roll, it was like a long roll of netting from Lowe's. And I bought a big roll of Velcro. And it's like super durable Velcro. So I'm sticking the Velcro to the mosquito netting. And then I have Velcro up on the hatches. And I'm just gonna stick it to it. Then we're gonna have no more mosquitoes! I thought it was pretty genius was. Alright babe, what happened yesterday is we were going through customs. Well, we are going through customs and I don't know if any of you guys know, but Bahamian customs is, they're pretty uh... They're hit or miss. Yeah. It's either they don't care at all or they're Nazis. Yeah, and they were being Nazis yesterday. Um, but yeah. we made it through without having to pay. We had like our autopilot, our new course computer, um, we had Nikki and John's new... We had our actuator control unit, like, head, the, which is, like, similar to what an old course computer is. We had our EV1 sensor. We had a bunch of cabling. We had and Nikki and John's... I think it's their motor for their autopilot. They were even trying... Which I get. I was expecting to have to pay for those. But then they were even trying to make us pay for clothes. Our Neptunic clothes. Which was ridiculous. And so we were like, nah. And so... We just sat there like, really? And then finally they just let us go. We kept saying it was all part of one thing. <laughs> but, yeah, eventually she just let us go. Because we also didn't have any invoices or anything. But, anyways, look how cute! 